Hello, I'm Josie Wales and welcome to this combat mission Fortress Italy after action report. This mission is cutting the Cesaro Road. It's set on the 5th of August 1943 outside the town of Troina. The mission is to isolate German defenders in Troina by cutting their main escape route, which is the Cesaro Road. To do this, I have got 3rd Battalion, the 39th Infantry Regiment plus support. I start the mission with I Company uh, from the 3rd Battalion uh, with the Battalion Mortars from M Company. It's 0545 hours. As the mission goes on, I will get reinforcements at 0600 hours. I will get a platoon of T30 assault guns. Uh, plus the battalion heavy machine guns from M Company as well. At 0610 I will get a platoon of M4 Shermans and at 0620 I will get another platoon of M4 Shermans plus K Company from the 3rd Battalion. The map objectives to take are the highway objective, behind that uh, the secondary road, at the back of the map are two high ground objectives Further over onto the right in the centre uh, is a woods objective and the Troina entrance. Off map support consists of two 60mm mortar sections, one 81mm mortar platoon, two 105mm batteries, four 155mm batteries and two A36A Apache aircraft. Uh, these are converted P-51 Mustangs uh, which uh, perform the uh, dive bomber roll. I've also set eight target reference points. Third Battalion are approaching from the north. The western side of the map has been heavily mined. My intention is to completely avoid that part of the map. Use the cover of darkness to move up the hill on the eastern side of the map. Try and take some prominent position there and then carry on pushing towards the south along the eastern side. The attack begins with N Company's 81mm mortars. They target the highway where it runs east to west along a ridge. The 60mm mortars of I Company's 4th platoon join in. I Company start to advance up the hill. I also have some anti-tank guns which I get into support positions. The battalion is also supported by an engineer platoon which move up in the centre. Strategic update 1, 0556 hours 11 minutes into battle. So I company are moving forward in front of their support assets. In the bottom right hand corner are the mortars of M company. 
we're just moving up the hill towards the highway objective and are starting to make contact with German positions. My company's mortars reposition and get to work. And the attached forward observer gets a spot on a stug on the highway objective. The stug position causes the AT guns to redeploy further to the right. T-30 platoon, HQ company, 753rd tank battalion arrive. as do the battalion heavy machine gun teams of N Company. The Ford Observer radios in for an airstrike on the Stug as battalion mortars maintain their mortar fire. A second Stug is spotted on the far left and enemy artillery comes into play. Roger, fire for effect. It has mild effect. The T 30 platoon get into position to provide support and engage the first stub. In the center, the engineers hold their position. Whilst I company push the left. Fire for effect. Over. They start to close in on the enemy foxholes. A36A Apache takes out the first Stug. And 1st Platoon D Company 753rd Tank Battalion arrive.
Right off the bat, tank two hits a mine. But the rest get into position. Strategic update two, zero, six, 15 hours, 30 minutes into battle. I company are moving up to the ridge line to take the initial German positions, uh, along with the engineers on the right-hand side of that line. The attack has been supported by the assault guns, the mortar teams, and machine gun teams. First platoon tanks have been moved to the left to give the infantry some close range support. The battalion mortars of M Company start taking counter battery fire. As a result, they redeploy further to the right. The engineers pushed towards the highway objective but encounter determined resistance. The fight for the hill continues. Italian mortars of M Company set up at a new position on the far right as the German artillery intensifies at their old position. Second platoon D Company 753rd tank battalion arrive and take up positions on the far right. And last but not least, K Company, 3rd Battalion, 39th Infantry Regiment come to join the attack. The FO spots a flak 88 on the high ground. German artillery obliterates M Company Mortar's last position. AT guns pull back from their firing positions as well. Far right, second platoon tank to take up reverse slope positions just as the sun crests the hill. Now redeployed, the battalion mortars get back into action. And focus fire on the highway objective to support the engineers' advance. The FO team call in a strike on the Flak 88 as a second 88 is spotted near the Troyan entrance. The fight for the highway objective closes in. Up 
up on the high ground after the dust settles, the strike on the first 88 proved successful. Whilst at the bottom of the hill, the newly arrived K Company come under German mortar attack. On the left, I Company keep creeping forward with tank support. Whilst the engineers still struggling, call in more 81mm mortar support on the highway objective. A new threat emerges behind the highway objective. Second platoon tanks move to counter the threat. Lead elements of I Company with first tank platoon support across the highway on the far left. Another A36 ATEX out the second flak 88. Cost of two Shermans, the Panzer threat is neutralised. However, a Pack 40 gets spotted near the high ground. Mortars are the obvious solution. Strategic update 3, 0645 hours, one hour into battle. I Company are starting to filter across the highway on the left. However, as of yet, the highway objective is still not taken. K Company are moving up behind I Company. The idea is that they will continue the push uh, once they have uh, reached the front line and give I Company a little bit of respite. The battalion mortars are down in the bottom right hand corner together with second platoon tanks. First platoon tanks are still supporting uh, I Company uh, up close. T30s push up in the centre. And the 
I company halt their advance so that K company can push through. Roger. Fire for Roger. Fire for the FO and anti tank teams get zeroed. <laughs> Second pack 40 gets spotted in the woods. A third pack 40 gets spotted on the edge of Torino. And a fourth. Nearby is a Marder 2 overlooking the minefield. Despite multiple mortar barrages, there's still heavy resistance on the highway objective. K Company now take over from the engineers. They attempt to push across the highway and onto the highway objective with support from 1st Platoon Tank. They succeed. A fifth pack 40 gets spotted far left. The battalion mortars come under counter battery fire again and are forced to reposition for the second time. T-30s repositioned from the center to the left. K Company push through the highway objective. On the far right, two more Panzer IVs come into view. Strategic update, 4.07.15 hours, one and a half hours into battle. I and K companies are intermingled along the ridge line. K company have moved through I companies positions and are continuing with the fight whilst I company get some respite. First tank platoon are moving quite close with I and K company on the left 
and second tank, tank platoon are in the bottom right hand corner next to the battalion mortars providing long range support. The newly arrived Panzer IVs are in the top right hand corner of the map. With phase one of the plan to take the highway along the ridge line now complete, uh, I turn attention now to phase two. Looking over the map, starting in the northwest corner, which would be the bottom right hand corner from the overhead view, uh, we are with the battalion mortars and second tank platoon, which are now moving across to the left. Moving across the valley to the other hill. This is the hill with the ridge at the top where the highway is running and the highway objective. On the left is I Company that are resting after the uh, first part of the morning's fighting. K Company have uh, pushed through their position, taken the uh, highway objective, and now we're looking to threaten uh, the secondary road and high ground objective. Obviously with quite a bit of flat ground between uh, those points. Once we can get up here, we can then sweep down, take the Troina entrance and the woods. That concludes part one of this combat mission, Fortress Italy After Action Report. Watch out for part two.